It's 6, 17, and 23. I wanted to make a video about uh, basically I didn't buy my plastic boat from this guy right here, but I bought some parts from him. BassHunter.com is the website. And they had the parts, but this boat, a Bass Hunter versus the other boat called the Pelican. I mean, I'm going to show you. I've only got one picture of this boat. You can look at the Pelican boat. It's, uh, they're, uh, I think Academy Sports sells these and maybe Cabela's and a lot of other people. They come in nine and ten foot. But where are you going to put your rods? I don't know why people would even buy this boat. They don't know about the Bass Hunter, I guess. But this chair arrangement's the same. But it's got a bunch of tons of cup holders and stuff. But those rails, that's very limited space on either side. It's not very wide. Anyway, you do the math and you look at it. It's probably a much heavier boat, too. So, on this website here, you can look at the dimensions and everything. I've got a, uh, another video about on my boat. I've got, a, I got a ba the baby bass version right here. Let me see. This is the one I've got right here. Shows you the specs and everything. You can look that up on, on the website. Go to the website right here. But that's my version. And uh, this other version I really wouldn't get. It's a Bass Hunter EX, but same thing. It's a nine foot. Mine's an eight foot. So you look at this and you say, well, okay, where are you going to put your rods? Look at this. This extends way out. You got one inch. So all your rods are right here, stacked side by side, three or four rods. They got to lay on top. I mean, that's the difference between this one and I'm going to show you the next one. There's a, this is nine foot and, and I think there's another one that's eight foot too. So we'll go back, close that and go to this next. They have three versions. This is a, a 120 versus the Bass Baby, which mine's eight foot. I guess this is whatever, nine foot or, or more. But ideally, yeah, this is 166. Let's go back and look at mine. You can do that on the website. Heavier boat, more space, but much better than the other boat. Um, same setup as mine, just about a foot longer, I think, and heavier. So this won't fit in my 4x8 trailer either. Well, this boat's got, <clears throat> you know, look at all the space for your rods that you can put on there. Look at that. It's wide open. And this, this is why it's got a high side, too. Anyway, that'd be my choice. Either this one, which is a heavier version, or the one I've had for 10 years, the Bass Baby. 130 pound. The other one was 166. 96 versus 120, I think the other one was in the length. But this, uh, you know, they're about a, thousand, over a, th a little over $1,000. But it's a real good stable boat. It's got wheels. You can take those wheels off if you chose to. I got had mine on there for 10 years. It ain't bothered me none. Makes it just a tad heavier, not much, five pounds. So there you go. Just wanted to make a shout out for this guy because he, uh, you know, sent me my parts fast and they were cheap. I got had lost a few of my parts on, on this boat and I had to replace them. There's a little plug in the front. I lost one of these right here. I left it loose and it flew out so and I put anyway I got another video on this boat if you want to see it but it's got a little plug right here you can take out too let me end this video it's going to be too long